Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on my new server because so I've had this one for over a year but I've never had it running consistently. It's basically bricked right now because I forget the ESXi remote login password so I can't really use it. I don't have anything important on it and I have four servers right now. I have this one, which was my original. This one, which is pretty cool, um, it has a tape deck in it. Um, well, not like a cassette thing, but like for tape storage, which is cool. I might try to take that out. I don't know. And then I have this server, which I'm going to be using. It's very nice. It's LGA 771 dual socket one of them is being used right now currently it has four gigs of the ddr2 ecc ram and um the best part hot swappable drives so currently four of them are occupied with these 320 gigabyte western digital drives so that leaves about four free drives right now oops this got stuck this is um yeah, this is the server I'm going to be using. I've cleaned it up a little bit. Um, specifically this, this was completely covered in dust. There was absolutely no shine on this. I mean, there's still a little bit of dust and um, the fans, the fans are very dusty. I might have to clean these out, but look at that, that's a lot of dust. Should be fine though. It's got a 645 watt power supply, so it's able to power everything. Hopefully power draw isn't too much, or else I won't be able to leave it running 24-7. And then my fourth server is this. This one's big, it's got dual 1000 watt power supplies. At least I think they're 1000 watts. I've gone over these in a previous video, but... Um, yeah, it's dual 750 watt power supplies, so I don't want to use this because it draws too much power and I don't have a use for that much power, but it does have dual LGA 1366 um, CPUs and I think 8 gigs of DDR3 ECC in it. I also can't use this because I sold the raid card for it, so I can't really use the server. But what I can use are the drives in it. Um, if I just move all this stuff over. This also has hot swappable drives. It has four. Um, I don't know how many are filled. Oh, I think I didn't get the, yeah. So these are four hot swappable drives right here. They're Western Digital Velociraptors, 300 gigs each, 10,000 RPM, fast boys. Um, I don't know, I might be able to use these, but as you can see, they're, they're weird. They're made specifically for this server. I think it's an Intel server. Um, and I think this because the case is very similar to my old server. As you can see, this side paneling is like that. And my old one is also like that. They both have stock Intel server boards and Xeons, so... Yeah, so now we need to fix this up, maybe throw some more RAM in there, because I have some more DDR2. It is an ECC, but it should work. Alright, we've moved the server into the other room. We have a monitor and a keyboard, so we're ready to boot it up and see, you know, what's recognized in the BIOS. And I have some sticks of DDR2 RAM. Come on, focus. Yeah, I have some sticks of DDR2 RAM that I might try to throw in with the ECC RAM to see if we can get both to work. 
This is my pool noodle that I use to uh, get rid of cobwebs. All right, so let's power everything up. Okay, well, power supply is spinning. Monitor doesn't seem to be getting power. Maybe I should, oh God, maybe I should try to turn it on. All right, well, that was some fan noise. Yep. All right, the rate card is blinking. Very loud. These fans are spinning. These ones too. I think there are two fans in each of those. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, get into the BIOS. Okay, so we're on this screen. As you can see, we have, I think we have two, see, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's only one processor in there. I'll have to check. I'll probably end up re-thermal pasting those. But as you can see, we've got our Xeons right here, DDR2, four gigs of system RAM detected, and uh, when it was booting up, I saw that it recognized one RAID array. It had five, it was about 500 gigs. So let's delete for setup. Here we go. Let's go into uh, hardware monitor, I guess. All right. So CPUs are staying nice and cool. The fans are spinning pretty fast. Um, guess it needs to keep everything cool. They are passive coolers, so it makes sense why all those fans are going very speedy. Um, let's see, where can we see our RAM type? All right, so here we have some IDE stuff. Alright, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM. Oh, wow. Alright, um... Yeah, here's a lot of boot options. Uh... Yeah. So, now I'm gonna turn it off, and, um... I'm just gonna cut power. Now I'm going to try to... Oh, it's quiet in here now. Now I'm going to... Throw six gigs of RAM in, see if we get ten. Mm. Okay, so this RAM did not fit. But the RAM in here might. And same with the RAM in there, so we have not lost all hope. Let's just let's reveal what's inside of here. Oof. Okay, yeah, here we have some RAM, so let's move this side panel. All right, here we go. This server is a lot smaller than this one. Let's see how much RAM we've got. This is a one gig stick. I think we have four gigs in here. So that'll boost us up to eight. Actually, I think I have six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have six. This is a four gig stick. And one gig, that's six. Or maybe I have eight, I don't know. And then another 
four gig stick. Oh. Okay. So this is ten gigs. And um, the server might not have been able to recognize all ten gigs, and maybe that's why it only showed up as like six or eight, however much that it was. Um, this stuff should fit. Hmm. Yeah, let's just throw this boy in. Okay, so the conclusion is none of the RAM I currently have will fit in these slots. So maybe I'll just order some more DDR2 ECC RAM. But until then, 4 gigs should be fine. Alright, now let's move this heavy boy up to where that other heavy boy is. Then set up the network cable, maybe get a switch down here. Okay, so that's the old server, and the new server is here. So I still need to move it over a little bit this way. Actually, a lot this way. But it actually hangs off the ledge. But it should be fine. Very sturdy. Oops, that broke. Alright, my SD card's full, so I'll be back soon. Okay, that's the dust cover for the CPUs for the server. So I think I need to go put that back on.